All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have another new offering from Phoebus Watches. Now, you guys, you know Phoebus has really been cranking out some good watches, some really, really nice watches. The Proteus, uh, I actually had this one originally on the channel back a few months ago. Recently showed it again on another video I did on all of the stainless steel um, Phoebus, well, not all of them, but a number of them that are available over at the website. And I mentioned that, that Phoebus was going to send me out one of the newest models of the Proteus, and so this is the original one that I had guys but here in front of us we have the newest Proteus now I'm not exactly sure of the reference number guys I'll try to leave some stuff down below in the description but I don't even think this is available at the website yes this is a yet excuse me this is a brand new model uh, Ethan got a hold of me when they were releasing these and asked if he could get one out here to the channel so we could take a look at it and kind of get an idea of what the newest Proteus offering is going to look like now you guys can see this is a aged steel plating they've used on this stainless steel case and I really really love the looks of it also, they've moved to a really nice full grain Italian leather strap. These are truly Italian made full grain leather straps and I can tell you they're super, super supple and comfortable. Let me go ahead and push in the crown and let's get this watch running. Now, I'm, it is a screw down crown. You can see that I had the crown out. The movement is hacking hand windable. This again is running the Seiko NH35 movement, so which is a great, great 24 joule movement from Seiko watches. Um, 40 hour power reserve beats it. Uh, 21,600 vibrations per hour. So it's going to be a really, really good tried and true watch. And of course, they include date functionality over here at the three o'clock position. Now, not a whole lot of difference, to be honest with you guys, in the case. Actually, there's no difference in the case design, the handset, the styling of the watch overall, but you do have this difference in the case finish. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of a PVD finish on this watch, giving it this aged steel look, but I really, really like the way it grays out the watch, especially, you know, matching it with this dial here. It just really looks good. Now, these are almost like a pebbled or a sand style dial on these watches. Now, sorry guys, my, my reflections in my room here are kind of bad, but um, just a great, great looking piece. You guys can see the baton style hands as you would have on the original uh, Proteus model. The applied indices all the way around in almost a, a shark tooth style, which I really like. And then this luminous ring here, the chapter ring on the outside is actually stepped at a different level from the main dial. And I did talk about that in the video of the other Proteus model. Um, really, really impressive, impressive loom on these watches. Some of the best I've seen. Stick around to the end because I will show the loom and you get uh, just a great contrast of BGW9 as well as C3 Superluminova in the green. So the leather strap, let's talk about that. That's one of the biggest changes on this Proteus model. Like I said, full grain Italian leather, and it is very, very soft and supple. Made in Italy, very, very well made, nice looking strap. Really all you have there on the strap indicating is that it's a full grain, top grain Italian leather there. Other than that, nothing, no stampings for the Phoebus Kraken or anything like that. Since we got it over here, I'll show you the back of the watch. Again, carrying over that that plated a look to the case back, the crack in there, but j just one of the best. Honestly, this is one of my favorite Phoebuses uh, I've gotten to look at to date. I love the Proteus design in and of itself, and I love, I really love this watch. But something about this steel case, the brown band, this kind of subdued look. And of course, you can see they also, not only that, they use the old radium style loom uh, on the C3, um, you know, plots there. So they're going to glow bright green. And they also got that old radium look, um, you know, while you're wearing the watch during the day. So it's a great, great looking piece. Getting the specs out of the way on this watch, you have a 42 millimeter case from side to side. I measured 49 lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug opening, um, and you have 14 millimeters of thickness. That is to the top of the domed sapphire crystal. That domed sapphire crystal does have AR coating on it. Taking a little look here at the crown, you guys can see, I'll try to bring it up here a little closer. Uh, see the Phoebus crack in there, and this is really, really nicely done knurling on the crown. Fits into the case, just absolutely beautiful. You can see also, looking closer here, you can see the neural work on the bezel itself. Now, I, I know on the original model, these are a ceramic bezel insert, and I'm assuming that this is also, it's just brushed, not glossy like the uh, original um, Proteus was. 120 click bezel on the watch, and it's nice and crispy. Works really nice, really, really nicely. Get that lined up for you guys. And I wanted to bring it up closer one more time to show you the guys the nice surround on the date window there. Nice polished surround. And also a little bit closer, you guys can see these applied indices. And you can see that step to the dial. Automatic in 300 meters just down here at the 6 o'clock position. Clean, clean dial on these watches. Of course, the cracking up there just below 12 o'clock. And I love the lightning bolt hands. I got to say 2020... 
seems to be the year where the um, micro brands are really starting to use that lightning bolt hand, of course, originally made famous by the Rolex Milgauss watch. So let's go ahead and get this watch on my seven interest. And then, of course, we're going out with that loom shot. Well, I can tell you right off, this Italian leather strap is extremely comfortable. The buckle, the sign buckle there with the Phoebus on it. it. It's a super, super nice strap on this watch, and it really matches it well. Now, I'm sure one question you guys have is, you know, hey, it's a 300-meter dive watch, and here we got a leather strap on it. So what are we supposed to do in that case? Well, the cool thing is Phoebus is actually including an additional strap for the watch, a really nicely done Phoebus rubber strap. You guys can see Phoebus logo there at the top and also on the bottom side here, they've got the Kraken in there. Now you are gonna have to pull the hardware off of this strap and apply it to this strap, which is simple. It's just a, a simple spring bar in there that you take out and just put the hardware in there. But it is nice that they're including this rubber strap. So if you're gonna go on some water adventures, you'll definitely wanna switch up the strap. Uh, also, I wanna show you really quick, you get your, your paperwork, as of course, with the Phoebus watch. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, your running information, return information, uh, your two-year warranty card, which uh, you could use if you happen to have a problem with your Phoebus watch. But like I tell people all the time, always read the information, the paperwork that comes with your watch so you're not surprised by anything. So, all right, guys, let's kill the lights and check out the loom. Well, an indicator would be bad. I, I haven't shined any light on this watch or anything. I mean, I did wear it today. I wore it all day today out in the field doing some work, so it, it definitely saw some sunlight, but I don't think this will surprise you. Phoebus watches are just absolutely amazing. The loom is really, really spectacular. So you guys can see that combination of the C3 Super Luminova that's being used in the bezel and on the main indices and hands. And then, of course, that BGW9 Super Luminova being used on that chapter ring, just giving it this amazing, amazing pop. And I have to tell you, I don't think really the camera does it justice. I think that actually the, the watch is even brighter in person um, than it is behind the camera. But this just gives you an idea. The watches are really, really nicely done. Now, $299 is, I do believe, what they're going to be going for over there at the website. Of course, use the code OFD on any purchase or purchases at the website, and you will get a 10% discount on all the watches you pick up over there. So, all right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.